uh, we are streaming. We should be live on the channel soon. And it looks like soon is now. Yes, there we go. So, hello everyone and welcome to Adventure on so many levels. We're going to continue playing Tales from the Loop. No bills. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to it. Uh, welcome back to Toil and Trouble, a Tales from the Loop adventure. We, in, we, we join Daniel, the computer geek, played by Paul. Hi. Tony, the weirdo, played by David, who just dropped off the call. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> As you uh, do. Uh, Courtney, the rocker, played by Christiana, and Hi. Lena, the hick, played by Lee. In our last session, the kids investigated Daniel's uncle Midas who had been behaving a little strangely lately. After some chasing back and forth and gathering clues, Midas, they confronted Midas and he admitted to them that he had discovered a working machine that had been sent to the scrapyard where he works to be disassembled. By hooking the power from his laser cutter to the machine, he could duplicate anything put inside it. And he was going to borrow things from to folks he knows around town, duplicate them, and bring one of the resulting duplicates back. He'd then sell the other duplicate in a pawn shop and make some easy money. He even invited the kids to bring stuff around they wanted to duplicate, as long as they were quiet about it and didn't get the attention of Mr. Pearson, who operates the scrapyard. It's now Sunday morning. Tony, you're at church having been brought there by your grandmother. As she sends you on the way to, into the church basement for Sunday school, you notice Tim Chandler coming through the doors. Yes, that Tim. Like you, he's dressed in his Sunday best, flanked by his parents. You know that since he's the same age as you, he's gonna be in the same class. You didn't think they went to this church, but uh, evidently they're here today. He notices you and gives you a malicious smile. What do you do? David? Just David? Hit my pot forward and look away. Okay. Uh, as you head down to class, he comes up behind you and whispers in your ear, you thought the summer was going to be safe, did you? <laughs> and as you're going down the stairs, he gives you a little shove. I'm bouncing you off the wall. Your, your pot makes a clank against the wall. Leave me alone. <laughs> he just laughs. All right. Courtney, mm. Sunday morning, you're awakened by a knock on the door. It's your dad. He says, your mom needs some help this morning. Make her something for breakfast. See if she needs anything else. And see if you can wake up your sister. Anyways, I need to go into the lab. Can't Lydia do it? I can't wake her up. She won't wake up when I knock on the door. And you know how we are about doors. Fine. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and get up. Um, although I think um I I think as I come out of my room, um uh -huh. I it, assuming that dad has kind of made himself, you know, he's gone yep, elsewhere he's, in the house. Yep, he's 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 off. He, you hear the front door close as he leaves. Um, I will, uh, pound on, uh, Lydia's door though. And just saying, don't worry, just keep sleeping in. I'll make breakfast. You don't hear anything. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and, uh, go to, uh, I, so is mom like working in a home office or something like that? Um, uh, you pass by the bedroom door and you can see that she's in bed. Okay. Mm. Um, 
Lena, you're woken by somebody banging on doors outside and shouting. <laughs> I'll fall out of bed. <laughs> okay. And roll a little bit across the floor from the momentum. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And uh, poke my head out the door. What? <laughs> um, so I, if I see you come out, I just say, okay, good. So we're making mom breakfast. Come on. Uh-huh. And uh, what was that with the pounding on the doors? It doesn't matter. Okay. Um. So okay, how, making breakfast. Well, how about this? Um, if you want, you can be excused from breakfast making duties if you get Lydia out of bed. You see an evil grin stretch across <laughs> Lena's face. Can do, 10-4. <laughs> um, she I, heads off back down the hall. <laughs> I go to start okay. making breakfast. It's it's pretty basic. It's like um, instant oatmeal and uh, toast and orange juice and um, mm -hmm. like a grapefruit. Okay, you know, part of a balanced breakfast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, what what is what does Lena do next while uh, while, while that's happening? Uh, Lena is nor going to ignore the door policy and uh, try to open the door. It is locked, but you know that the locks in this house are the kind that have just like a flat bladed thing going in the right hole will open it up. Yeah. So all you need is like a small screwdriver or, you know, something like that and you can open it up. Okay, so I'll go out to the, the, the I'll sneak out to the garage to grab, you know, one of dad's uh, flathead screwdrivers. Okay. Come back and pop the lock. <laughs> okay, it opens right up. There's no roll required for that uh and uh lydia's room is empty her bed has not been slept in and her windows open okay so uh i'm gonna close lydia's window <laughs> okay and lock it <laughs> okay <laughs> you throw the latch okay yeah throw the, throw the latch and uh leave the door open okay uh, go put the screwdriver back and okay. say, and, and go back to the kitchen to for for my oatmeal, <laughs> and say, well, Lydia's up. <laughs> okay. She's up and out and gone. <laughs> what? Yep. Okay. Um, you I guys think... didn't see her last night. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, I think at the very least, Courtney is aware that Lydia has been sneaking out. But is this the first time she wasn't here in the morning? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's, she, yeah. She's, she has come home late on occasion, and she has occasionally called called home to say she would be staying at a friend's house, quote unquote, mm -hmm. which you you know means stay, you know going to a party somewhere. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, uh, generally spending as little time as possible at home. But this is the first time she has been out um, this way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I let uh, Lena eat breakfast. And do we have, do we have like one of those bed and breakfast trays, you know, the classic? Yeah, yeah, you've got, you've got a, you've got a, um, a combination um, just regular old tray, and it also has clamps in the bottom so you can attach legs to make a TV dinner tray. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so very eighties. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's I, uh, things I, I have gone ahead and uh, I, I pour a little bit of you know orange juice and um, uh, and let's see, I probably. I, I would know if she drinks coffee, like so. Dad probably made coffee, so I could pour her yeah, some coffee. Yeah, there's a there's a pot of coffee in the Mister Coffee on the kitchen counter. Coffee is um, something that uh, Courtney is vaguely aware is a, a a thing that cool kids drink, and yet it's so gross. It's yeah. so gross. She tried to drink it to be cool, but no, it's awful. Anyway, <laughs> she was able to pour some, and uh, she goes to okay. bring breakfast to mom. Okay, um, she's uh, she is 
rolled up in the covers um, in in uh, uh, basically in the fetal position um, with her back to the door. Okay. Hey, mom, I've got breakfast for you. It's warm right now. If you don't eat it, it'll get cold. She she uh, rolls over and looks at you. Her eyes are kind of bloodshot and there's bags under her eyes and she holds out her hand and, uh, and uh, puts her hand along your cheek and says, you're so nice to me. I'll, I'll try to eat it. Okay. Just, just leave it there. Are you, are you feeling okay? But yesterday took a lot out of me. Yeah. Thank you for buying me those albums. Don't play them too loud, okay? I'm okay. gonna try and get some more sleep. So yesterday wasn't the garage sale day though, right? It was later, or was it? It was. That right? was, that was, yeah. yeah that okay. was, well, um, Sorry, no, I... the garage sale day was, the garage sale day was Friday. Right. Um, and But she still says that yesterday was what okay. the problem. Yeah, well, so I, I, I kind of get it, you know, so I, yeah. I, um, I, do you, do you want anything else? Oh, this is wonderful. This, this is fine. Um, uh, could you uh, go in the bedroom and go in the bathroom and get the big bottle of pills out of the medicine cabinet? Is it like aspirin or something? Does no, mean... it's a prescription bottle. Okay. I, but I would know the one she means. Yeah. Just get the, the just get the really big one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I go and I retrieve that for her and I'm, okay. you know, this is the, uh, I, th I think the TV show of this would certainly have lots of framed shots on Courtney's ambivalent expression of feeling really worried about Lydia and feeling like maybe that's the sort of thing that I should tell mom, except that I also wouldn't want to get Lydia in trouble if she just stayed at a friend's or something. So and you so kind of walk past Lydia's room, you look, mm -hmm. you, you look back at your mom's room. Yeah. And then walk back. And I go look back concerned, but don't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, and I, you know, grab a piece of toast and uh, say, uh, Lena, we need to, we need to, we need to find Lydia. Okay. Hmm. Do you know where like that dumb club is? Uh, do they meet? Do you know where they meet? Like you go all over the place out outside of town. Um. Hmm. It, so I'm I'm assuming that's that's where she is as opposed to like a friend. Well, right? that would be like the first place to look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I think there's probably something like um, the abandoned warehouse district <laughs> or mm -hmm, something mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. on the outskirts of town, maybe a little bit past our hideout. Uh huh. Like um, the road that our hideout is on, a little bit past there, it used to lead to like some warehouses and stuff. Right. Roll, roll, um, roll a comprehend. That's the ability to have the right piece of information. So we're going to roll comprehend for one or two. Okay. Either one of you, whoever's got the higher one can, can roll. And, I have uh, nothing in comprehend. So, well, yeah, yeah, so, so that would be your mind I, score then. I have four in mind, but nothing in comprehend. Okay. I have nothing in, I no, I have two in mind. Okay. Um, so, so, uh, so Christiana, you can roll five dice for okay. well, uh, Courtney. Well, it would be four, but that. Well, no, because because oh, you're oh, both, you're I'm, both she's working. helping. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the, between the two of you, you kind of brainstorm on where she where uh, where this. That's that's one six. Okay. Um, yeah, there is in fact a uh, 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 an abandoned barn, um, way out on the edge of town. Um, it's got some weird, um, uh, weird, uh, weird, um, <laughs> antenna things sticking out of it. Mm. Um, 
Uh, but yeah, the, it's um, it's uh, it, that's that's kind of a known place where Lydia has been known to hang out. Um, you never actually been there yourself, but um, but but you've seen it from the outside. You know where it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what what time is it? Is it like? You know, it's morning. Okay. Not 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 particularly late morning. It's you know mid morning, maybe seven o'clock. Right. Uh, so if we're getting ready to head out, um, does we sh we should probably see if uh, Daniel and Tony want to help. I mean, mm -hmm. you know. Well, wouldn't wouldn't Tony would be at church, right? Oh, I guess. Yeah, you know that Tony goes to church. Okay. Um, well, we can maybe pick him up after, or or well, I don't know. Like, do we would we know what time that is? We could swing we could swing by there and get him when he comes out. Yeah, it usually lets out. You, he's usually home a little afternoon. Okay, that's a longer time than. So I yeah. guess maybe we'll. So we could uh, go see if Daniel wants to come with us. Okay. Daniel. Yeah. Um, your mom and dad are in their room. From inside, you hear your mom call out, Daniel, honey, would you go get the paper for your father? Yes, mom. I lost myself out of my room. I was probably reading like Bite Magazine or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And go, go, out, go out to the front door and hopefully the Sunday paper, is, the big thick Sunday paper is yep. there. Oh yeah, the big thick Sunday paper is there. It weighs about five pounds. <laughs> um, and as you're as you're going out to get it, you see Erica Ball walking down the street in front of your house. Oh God! 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 God! She doesn't seem to have noticed you. I'm I'm gonna I'm going to pick up the paper, stare, try stare down at the paper, but do that kind of lift the eyes up to look at her, but then look back <laughs> down at the paper as if I'm absorbing the paper, but up again, up then. Yeah, up she there. she she walks by without looking up. In fact, she looks. She looks kind of dejected. She's she's kicking it's, at stones along the way. It's and, early in the morning too. To be yeah, it's like around. yeah. She's got she's got a she's got a backpack on, like like the school backpack, and she's uh, walking around, walking just walking along the street there. How far away is from me at this point? She's right, the, she's right at the front, the end of your front yard. Like okay, I, I ten I, yards I will, ten yards away. I, I, I will I will look up at her and say, Erica, are you all right? I don't think she even knows my name, but I'll give it a shot anyway. Um she 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 kind of looks up at you and then just kind of shakes her head and keeps going. That's not right. Okay. Brain brain starts thinking, okay, so I rush inside, like. To get get the paper to dad to to dad, mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out for some fresh air. I'll be right. I'll be back in a bit for breakfast. I say, and then I'm going to I'm going to follow Erica at a distance or try. Okay, to. okay, you're following her. This is not his skill, but you know, there's something okay. wrong here. Um, uh, I I would like you to make a sneak roll. All right. I don't think I have very good skills in that. Let's, let's see. Probably not, but let's see what happens. All right. So I have no in sneak. I have two in body. So it's two, two dice. Six, two dice. See if you get any sixes. No, two ones. <laughs> okay. Well, luckily this game doesn't have critical failures. Um, uh, yeah. As as you're going along, she 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 you know kind of trying to stay out of sight without uh, you know going from like mailbox to shrubbery to tree. And she she finally looks over sh her shoulder and says, stop being weird. I know you're there. Uh, heart in your chest, heart in your chest. I will step out from be behind the tree. Um, you don't look okay. I'm fine. You're wearing a backpack and you're walking at seven in the morning on a Sunday. 
Well, it's none of your beeswax. Maybe not, but you're my classmate, although it's after school. So, you know, like if it's trouble, I- I'm running away from home, okay? And this goes like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you see that her backpack is like stuffed to, 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 to bursting. Well, why? Many what are happened? beeswax. Look, you don't know me. I don't know you. I'm not, I'm not telling you. Make a charm roll. Yes. All right. This and you can play what, whether, how, how well you come across based on how well you roll. All right. Uh, well, this is about this is about as good as my uh, sneak. So we'll see how this goes. No, there's no successes. So I'm stammering. Okay. I'm stuttering. I am, I am, I am the full computer geek that has no social yeah. skills whatsoever. Yeah. Go, just go home, Denny. I'm, I'm kind of like frozen to the spot here. I can't run away. I can't follow her. I'm kind of like, like that sort of shock of rejection. It's like, I'm not quite the quivering yet, but I'm getting yeah. pretty close. But you know, like, yeah. like, you do know where she lives. I do know where she lives. Cause it's like just down the block, a few, a few houses down. It's not that far at all. Right. It's Once, just far enough away that she doesn't stand at the same stop as you, though you think maybe she goes to a further away bus stop just to not be near you, but you're not sure about that. He, he thinks about this for 30 seconds, his brain starts processing, then he turns. And I, I mean, this is it's almost like a fake, it's like, he'll say fine, it starts running, but he's not running for his house. He's running for her house. Okay. You know, she's not paying any attention to you. So. That's fine. He's going to run for her house. Okay. As much as, okay. much as, a, as a computer geek can run with the two bodies. But, you know, <laughs> no, it's not good, but you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, Lena and Courtney, how are you, um, uh, how are you contacting Daniel, are you calling his house or are you just hopping into bicycles and going over there? I think we established that, that we are the hopping on bicycles, running over there and then throwing pebbles at windows. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you, you're, you are getting your bicycles out of the garage and you see Daniel running hell for leather across, across down the street uh, um, in front of your house. Lena lights off after him. Okay. Doesn't even doesn't even stop to think about it. Just <laughs> boom. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Daniel, you notice Lena uh, coming up behind you on her bicycle. Uh, I'm not going to slow down. She'll catch me. Oh That's yeah. Fine. Okay. That's fine. I'll let her, I'll let her catch me, but I'm not going to slow down. <laughs> okay. Uh... But once she finally is a, beside me. Then, then I then I will actually walk down to a fast walk, just bring it down to a fast walk. Although probably not a fast walk at this point because not exactly athletic. Yeah, uh, Christiana, <laughs> um, how about Courtney? Is she following along? Well, I mean, I'm not gonna let Lena run off. Just okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, we were, okay, so we I got were looking for Daniel. So I mean, if that's if that's what we were yeah gonna do. Yeah, well, you found him. Something's happening. Um, so yeah, we would follow. <laughs> um. Uh. So. As you come up to uh, the front yard of um, of uh, Erica's house, uh, Daniel has pretty much run out of steam at this point. Um, what do you do now? I'll, I'll turn. I'll turn to them and with uh, sob, sobbing and uh, almost quasi asthmatic, like Erica's running away from home. I gotta tell her parents. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hang on. What do you, she's, what do you mean? She's running away from home? Why? She didn't tell, she wouldn't tell me. 
but she's she a backpack full of things and told me to go away and like I know something's wrong if you gotta stop her well okay but I mean why matters she wouldn't tell you no hmm do you think could we catch up to her she she just passed my house on the bicycle considering that Erica is walking and you and you then you could you have bicycles if mm -hmm. you want to catch up to her you absolutely can okay yeah especially um, if Daniel stops by his house and gets his bike yeah sure. yeah um Daniel, um, maybe you, you can catch up to us if if you if you can. But like, I'll try to check in on her. But like, I mean, maybe she if she just needs a little time to cool off or something. You know, it might not help to just like, like if she if she stormed out because her mom and dad were really mad about something, just going to tell them right now might not help. Okay. I'll go get my bike. You go catch. Go yeah. Find okay. Well, well, hang on. We'll wibble, uh, wibble, wibble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So I, I think, I, especially if the uh, if if we're dealing with uh, Daniel isn't here on his bike, um, I am going to kind of uh, as soon as we ride far enough, close enough to see. Uh, Erica there I'll kind of slow mm -hmm. a little bit and tell Lena um say just let me let me do this okay I'll hang back um so I'll kind of uh roll up to like do I know Erica at all I mean she probably uh, isn't my like click but no she's 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 definitely one of the kids that's too cool for everybody else she's mm -hmm. uh, um, she's, she is in the clique of the, you know, very highest social class in the school. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, oh, it, you know, is like one of the first girls to come, come to school with in, in makeup. And not only was she in makeup, it actually looked good rather than like a clown. Um, uh, she's, um, uh, 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 she's, uh, uh, so she's always been she's always been that kind of uh that kind of you know clickish snobby mm. um so yeah you you know about her and you've seen her and you know her name but mm -hmm. you've any social if you ever like tried to make friends with her she was she's cut you off okay um all right so i'll just kind of roll up kind of casually and just say hey erica she looks over at you and says, what? I suppose your friend Brian, you sent your friend Daniel told me to, told you to come up here. I saw Daniel. You running away from home? Duh. Cool. Why? What? You're what? I'm not telling you. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm just saying it's kind of badass. Okay, make a uh, make a charm check. Okay. <laughs> um, well, let's see. That's one of my good ones. Okay. Oh man, I just rolled eight dice and none of them were sixes. Uh, okay, you have several options. You can push, in which case you can reroll. Right. Um, if your pride is uh is is involved hmm. um you can you can use that uh um yeah or I if mean, your drive is involved that can also well, let's see um my my drive is hunger for everything in life and i think i see so i'm not really it's not even really like a trick this idea of thinking it's cool right you know it's, no it's, yeah i i get it i yeah. get it i'm just saying that if you want to if you want to succeed in a situation where you where your dice have yeah. failed you you have got options i would like yeah i would like to try that i think the hunger for everything in life is because it's like i i'm i'm digging deep because like i mean it i'm not just trying to think of what to say i'm like running okay. away from home is kind of cool if you're doing okay. it on purpose <laughs> um she, so that, that, that's when you use your you use your pride once per 
mystery. That is the entire okay. sure. thing. And that gives you an automatic success. Okay. Um, uh, 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 if you use your, your iconic item, you get an extra two dice to roll. Um, if you use luck, if you, you, you can use luck to get a reroll, if you use your luck okay. point for that, um, um, or, um, yeah. You know, you know what? So those um, are the, so the options you've a got. A luck point is, um, is a reroll. So I like, I would reroll all the failed dice, which is basically right. all of them. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Um, you know what? Yeah. Let's, let's do that. I have, I have okay. two luck points. I will use one of them here. Okay. <laughs> okay, still out of eight dice, none of them for sixes again. Okay. Uh, so you want to? So so you can again now. Now your option now is you can eat, you can <laughs> use your use your pride, um, which I that that sounds like a reasonable use of it there, or you can push. You get another reroll, but this time if you fail, then you suffer a condition. Mm -hmm. uh, so so I push is just another reroll but I would suffer a condition if I fail. That's correct. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Cause I, I'm feeling like I'm trying to engage with her on a level that, you know, like, yeah. So she, she kind of looks at you like incredulously. So this is, I, uh, I'm rerolling all again. <laughs> like what we're yep. for one of these going to be good. Uh, okay. There we go. Finally two sixes. Okay. Okay. So in she she says really yeah yeah i mean it's like you know parents and the grown-ups of the world just think that they can dictate everything to us but like you're you're just like taking your own life you know in your hands and you're and you're and you're just you're making it what you want it to be instead of what everyone else tells you it should be Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. I mean, that's how it's got to be when it comes right down to it, right? Yeah, it's your life, not theirs. Yeah. She kind of squares her shoulders, says, you and your friends, you got like a hideout, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. Can I see it? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so let's, I, I guess, uh, um, I'll, I'll kind of nod back to my sister. It's like, my sister's tagging along today. Yeah. Is she is she cool? Whoa. I mean, is she gonna like tell? No, no. In fact, like like she gets into so much trouble. Okay. You wouldn't believe it. Right. She's a handful. Um uh so the uh uh let's uh let's let's head on over there um okay i mean daniel might come by i hope that's okay um yeah well as long as you're there sure so you head over to the hideout mm -hmm. <clears throat> tony you're sitting in Sunday school, getting some discussion or whatever, doing some activity. It's not like the teachers at school because this is just, you know, one of the parents at the school is heading this up and they, you're pretty sure they don't really know what they're doing. Um, and the worst part of it is they're really not paying attention to the fact that Tim is kicking you under the table. And every time it happens, he does it harder. Mm. 
The worst part is, you know that Tim right. can just... So let me just make sure I understood you because it, it's breaking up. Okay. You're sitting in your Sorry? Sunday school. Can you hear me? David, uh, can you hear me? Might be a delay. It sounds yeah, like it's sorry. Okay. Tony is sitting in his Sunday school class. Hello? Hello? Okay. Uh, hey, David, can you try dropping out of the call and dropping back? Because you're delayed by several seconds. Okay. <laughs> All right, so hopefully that'll resolve <laughs> soon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> technical issues are yeah. always exciting yeah. when you're streaming <laughs> live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. Let's hope this is working better. All right. Better? All right. David? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you okay. hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So, Tony is sitting in his Sunday school class around sitting a big old Sunday circular group. table. Yeah. And the grown up who is teaching the class um, uh, is, you're sure that he doesn't have the foggiest idea what he's doing um, because Tim is kicking you under the table every time every time the teacher at your Sunday school class looks away. Um, and he's got this like diorama thing he's doing of a Bible story up on the screen. And um, uh, uh, he's uh, uh, basically asking each of you to create a figure to go into this di diorama, um, this scene that's being put up there. And, you know, you've got construction paper and magic markers and scissors and things. And um, Tim just keeps on kicking you under the table. And the worst part of it is, you know that Tim has this way of just wrapping any adult around his fingers and never getting in trouble for anything he does. What do you do? Hmm. I... Hmm. Well, <laughs> well, I definitely would want to get him to stop. <laughs> um. Hmm. Like, and if I know that I, you know. Asking the teacher to do something won't won't be helpful. Might might not. You don't know, but mm -hmm. he's but but it, it it it's not a sure thing. <laughs> How about I try and I uh, when I find. I have an idea of when he's going to kick. I basically try and lock my leg around his so, you know, it nothing's vis necessarily visible about the table, just like, you know, he'll s stop because he. Because you, cause you he got his, move his cause, leg. Because you got his foot like pushed up against the underside of your seat with your leg. Okay. All right. I think a. Um, I think a, yeah. uh, a, 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 a force uh, check is, is in, in line with that. All 
Okay, well, at least, you know, at least I have two die. And no successes. Okay. Um, you a five and managed, a two. Yeah, you managed to, uh, 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 you know, kind of, you try, try to sneak your leg under his and trap it. And uh, he just slithers right out of it. And uh, uh, not only that, um, the the teacher uh, turns around and and says, "Tony, come on, pay attention." Um, and that's pretty much how your entire morning goes. And when it when it's finally time to go upstairs and rejoin the uh, the ceremony, the the the, the uh, service, you are quite relieved. Um, and uh, you sing some hymns and uh, and listen to a sermon that's tremendously boring, and uh, finally you are uh, being driven home. Uh, and as you're driving home, you go past your hideout and you see, because you check these things, that there's bicycles in the back, um, and you, so you know your friends are at the hideout. Well, I guess I'll guess I'll have to go see what they're doing after I get home and to something comfortable. <laughs> okay, so you get home, change your clothes as fast as you can, hop on your bike, and ride out to the to the hideout. Um, and when you get there, you find that um, uh, there's a new person at the hideout. Um, you think she's from. Uh, Courtney and Daniel's class at school, but you don't you don't really know much about her. <laughs> so you, you walk into the hideout. Who who's this? Oh, this is Erica. Um, she was just telling us like what she her her big plans, and I was uh, I was basically trying to keep the conversation focused, at least for now, entirely on like, so where were you going to go? What were you going to do? Like, like, yeah, like it's she, exciting still. She doesn't have any strong ideas in that regard. And in fact, she's trying to change the subject to your cool hideout. And, um, and the, you know, the, the, the things that you've got there from your adventures mm -hmm. out and around. Uh, because you've got little treasures and things, little mementos, mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, so, uh, um, are you tr are you trying to steer the conversation? Uh, well, I mean, I think uh, uh, if I mean, I I think we're. I think if she wants to talk about the cool hideout, we'll, I'm, we're up okay. to talking about the cool hideout. Uh, I mean, okay. like, I think, I think Courtney is not super worried about Erica in general. It's more kind of like sympathetic. Like, obviously, uh -huh. if she's running away, she's got some kind of a big problem. And I feel bad about that, but it's more about, um, it, it's more about just kind of focusing on, you know, like kind of just making her feel better. Okay. That sounds like a lead check. It's a lead. Okay. Is anybody helping with that? Have I arrived yet or am I still? Yeah, you're there. You're there too. I'll, you're there I'll, too. I'll, I'm kind of like trying. To, it's like, I mean, this is the girl I dream of trying not to say anything else piss her off but you know it's like trying also not to stare at her because it's like it he's got he poor daniel has the worst body awkward body language around this whole thing he's on the far side of the hideout from where erica is sitting but he, he clearly keeps stealing glances and looking at okay her so and, so yeah. so in other words daniel is not helping no he's not <laughs> helping exactly that's the long way of saying no he's not helping okay and how about uh, how about lena is lena helping with this how is uh, she probably not okay uh just 
because she's just sitting there going, uh, trying to talk about this person I have no interest in. Okay, fine, whatever. This is Courtney's thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Courtney, make a lead check. Uh, okay, so I have um, five in heart, none in lead, so that's five dice, but then I was getting... I, no help from anybody is that no yeah, nobody, nope. nobody's right. help. lena is helping by not helping right. <laughs> i did by get one six i did get one six okay okay she, she finally after kind of talking about you know your your little treasures and things she um she's like i'm not actually running away i just wanted to just wanted to make him notice I'm not there. Hmm. So, like, long... are they gonna are they gonna notice like in the morning or like what? I don't know. I didn't think about it. I just got mad and I didn't want to stay there. You've gotten mad at your parents before, right? Well, yeah. So, like, you never ran away, right? Wow. Well, no, not yet. She, uh, she, um, she says, you're cool. Thanks for your help. I'm, I'm going to go back home. Okay. Tell, tell Daniel he's okay too. And she just poof, runs, runs out. <laughs> <laughs> blink, 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 blink. Uh, okay. <sighs> so the last two hours of our lives have been very, very boring. Could Are I we going to go get Lydia in trouble acting? now? <laughs> why, why is Lydia in trouble? Because she wasn't there this morning. She's usually better at covering her tracks. Oh, she stayed out late all night. Yes. Oh. That means good... she's fresh meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've seen this gleam in Lena's eyes. This is not good for Lydia. Do you know where she might have gone? Uh, well, we were thinking that there's that there's that club that some of the older teens are are in uh and uh we were going to check there before we got distracted I, i'm sorry maybe she's back at your house now i mean i don't know why we would assume that before checking the place we were originally going <laughs> yeah we thought we, we should how are you doing tony you don't look so good you look unhappy Well, um, one thing I wanted to tell us, like, could I see if I, I could tell that I, Erica was actually going to go home or? You're gonna, so you're going to kind of like look out? Emphasize? And, uh, yeah, we can roll that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Wow, I, it's not a good night for checks. Uh, nothing on six die. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, 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 you don't know for certain, um, but she's at least walking in the right direction. Okay. So in response to uh, the question asked, trying to be like, I don't, church is boring normally and it's, really bad today tim was there sorry i know he's he's is, mean and awful to you is tim someone that i would have intervened that's like he's yeah, the primary yeah, yeah. bully right it's like he's the prime he, yeah he's the yeah, one he, who's he's like, the one i get oh that little yeah. skunk ah oh, he's the worst i'm sorry tony I mean, his family was there too, so yeah. 
Well, you Campbell know that's kicking me during yeah. Sunday school. Ah, oh. yeah. Sorry about that. Like you know that that kid is just doing that because, like, he literally does not have anything better to do. Right. I know that like you wish he would do something else, but like that, you know, he's like you're interesting and he is just like boring. <sighs> well, at least. I mean, if you want if I'm interesting maybe you could talk instead of kick well i mean yeah. like he, he's just know, he's, he's just not, dumb and stupid yeah like that's like that's like he he can't do that because he's the one that's boring but anyway let's let's go find let's check that place to see if lydia is there okay so you hop on your bikes Okay, I could use an adventure. Mm -hmm. yep. Ride out to the edge of town. Mm -hmm. um, and you come to this barn. Only in, uh, unlike the illustration that I put up, um, it's uh, full daylight. Um, none of the things are lit up. Um, and uh, and uh, um, around the front side is a little, you know, there's a dirt road. Um, and there's a fence around it, but most of the, a lot of the places are, are it's fallen down. Um, uh, how do you approach it? Um, I mean, I think, I don't know, like, is there, it? yeah, like, is there, any, do we see any activity or anything like that? No, you don't, you don't, there's no cars on the road there. There's, um, there's no sound or light coming from inside. Okay. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't just drive straight up. Okay. Yeah. Like, I, mm -hmm. I think if we don't see anybody to hide from, we just kind of, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's right. You ride up. Um, there's a, there's, you know, the, 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 the rolls, the, the, the rolling doors, they roll sideways um, and they're closed. Um, but, uh, you you could um, if you try to open those, they'll probably make a lot of noise. Um, but as far as you can tell, there's nobody inside, so might as well just push them open, right? Mm -hmm. yep. So you do that, um, and there's definitely evidence around that there was a party here last night. There um, is red solo cups all over the place, um, uh, a table. Uh, it has um, uh, 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 it's been um, uh, a couple of tables off to one side um, and uh, uh, you can see lots of places where um, things have been set up and then taken down. There's tire tracks all over the place, but um, Whatever was here, not here now. Um, if you'd like to look around for clues and things, that would be an investigate check. Yeah, Lena is yeah. definitely interested in that. Okay, one of you can roll, and and if somebody's helping, they can add. Anybody who's helping out with that can add a die. Um, is anybody going to be like yes. keeping watch while this is happening? Uh, I mean. I'm definitely trying to figure out what happened too. So, I mean, I, I would help okay. in that regard. All right. Who's got the best investigate check? I've got four mind, one investigate. Okay, that's yeah, fine. that's definitely better than mine. I have a total <laughs> six. In... Oh, I have oh, okay. six. Okay. So, to, to, Tony's the one then. So Tony can roll nine dice, six for themselves and three for the, uh, for the help that they're getting. Okay. Uh, that's one. Uh, it's a total of two six two sixes. Okay. Um so uh 
while you're poking around among the trash and uh, vestiges of this, um, uh, uh, of this, uh, of this, what was clearly a, a big party. Um, you find a, um, you find a, a, a phone number, um, uh, uh, with the name Blackburn and, um, uh, it's all, it's, it's on a piece of paper that's been just kind of crumpled up and thrown away. Um, and the note on the, on the back side of it says, if you're serious about this, call me. Um, and also, one of the things you find uh, along the way um, is let's see. Courtney finds something that she she's pretty sure has to do with Lydia. What okay. would that be? Um, does something she have, that Lydia might have left behind. Um, maybe she has a like a vest with a bunch of pins on it. Oh, okay, Here and that. like one of the pins fell off. Or yes, something? yes. She's got, she's got um, um, uh, uh, on her purse actually. She has a bunch of pins from her favorite um, uh, 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 music group, a bunch of um, teenage boys, um, and uh, uh, find one of those pins. And while those pins are, you know, are not unique to her, um, they they do. They, you know that she has them, and she keeps them on her purse. So it's, mm -hmm. you, you, you feel like this is evidence she was here. Okay. Well, that note is really suspicious. Uh, so maybe if, uh, if, if we uh, check and she's still not home, we can call that number and pretend that we're serious about whatever it is and try to find out what it is yeah mm -hmm. that makes that makes sense find do we is. recognize the name blackburn um make a contact check and uh, I, I want i want either um uh i want either uh uh Courtney or Daniel is the oldest to make the check. Um, yeah, I, I whoever's got the rolling, highest. Between I'd be rolling six dice. Uh, that's I think higher than what I got. Um, okay. Contact. Yeah, I'd yeah. have two. So you're okay. you're okay. left, Courtney. <laughs> All right. Okay. Am I rolling just the six or? Uh, just roll the six. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's one six. Okay. Um, there's a man, James Blackburn, graduated high school two years ago. Um, and, the, and you've heard rumors that, uh, that um, and he was this big like football hero when he was in high school. Everybody knew about him. He was, he was a uh, halfback and uh, the school voted him the football MVP. And uh, there was talk that he was going to get a scholarship, but he didn't go off to college. He hung around town. And uh, you've heard rumors that he's a drug dealer now. Mm. But that can't be true because, no, I mean, that's just people saying, say, people say to be mean. Oh. It, we, 
<laughs> we so we think that it's not true or that, that um uh you don't know for certain okay so but he's at the very least he's hanging around town doesn't have a job that anybody knows of and so the people make up stories mm -hmm. but maybe it's true oh. i mean all right so here which of us do we think can make the be the most convincing as as like a a big teenager like i mean i i don't so mm. like is that something that i my concern would be an immediate so, like who are you to kid? sound old yeah yeah so to sound older than you actually are yeah um hmm so like would probably i i'm thinking it would likely be either daniel or i but i think well um like hmm I mean, what do you, you know, okay, you 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 tell me that the which of you you think would would be more likely, because. So I I don't know I think Daniel what do you think do you do you, you have like grown up voice yet I I have grown up voice and lots of grown up words so oh there you go but so I think maybe Daniel might be able to pull this off well and and also like if you know if we're trying to find Lydia it's possible that you know, they, they might figure out that it's me, but they wouldn't necessarily know you. So we should, we should go back to my house and, and call this number and you need to say, yeah, I'm, I'm totally serious and I need to know where I should meet you for, you know, the thing that we shouldn't say on the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Cause I bet that that's Lydia's doing something with that. Okay. Um, you get back home and you're about to, uh, you're about to make a phone call mm -hmm. and Lydia stumbles in the door. Uh -huh. Whoa. And she's got a pair of sunglasses on mm -hmm. and she said she's, she, she basically uh, looks at looks at you, kind of picks up her sunglasses, squints, says, don't say anything, and just goes into a room, closes the door, and, and you hear her flop on the bed. I, well, I think, I, I think I would be like attempting to not have the door just close without me slipping inside if, if possible. Or does she okay. like, does she really force the issue or to keep? Um, if you, she, she's, uh, she has not taken the trouble of locking the door. So if you wanted to just walk in, you can. Um. Well, so I think I, yeah. So I think I would be trying to follow her in. And uh, if, okay. if, if she just gets there and closes the door ahead of me, I will, I will go in, but probably close it behind me and, okay. and just say, uh, I don't think anybody else noticed except for me and Lena, but uh, are you, you, you stayed out all night last night and didn't even call or anything. Yeah. And did anybody notice? Well, I just said that like, not except for me and Lena, but we exactly. went, we saw that place where the party was. Did you call Blackburn? No, of course not. Blackburn's Blackburn's dangerous. Why? Why? Why are you going to parties where he is then? Because that's where things are happening. Look, you wouldn't understand. You're just a kid. Just leave me alone. Look, I, I, I need to I need to get some sleep. Just just like if you want to be helpful, give me a glass of water. All right. And I, I will, uh, I, I, I'm once again, 
as as a 13 year old emotions turning on a dime i'm sad now instead of s sassy um, so <laughs> um definitely uh uh i i go get her a glass of water and i mm -hmm. um i i actually i what i do is i don't reopen her door i leave the glass of water at the door <laughs> on the floor okay okay <laughs> All right. And there's your water. And then I go back to the to the others. So, uh, dear Adobe, please stop notifying me of things. Um, the so when when were we supposed to meet Midas? Was that tonight? Was that the thing? Yeah. You said that. You said that. Yeah. You said that. Yeah. Any. Right, as long as we, we didn't go while he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So, um, I still think we should call Blackburn. Lydia says she didn't, she didn't deal with him because he's dangerous. But I want to know what's up with that. I'm not sure I believe her anyway. Well, I don't want your sister to be in trouble if Blackburn's doing something and she's wrapped up with it. We gotta. Help no, it's so like right? she. So yeah. So you don't. You don't know who you. You call and you. You say you're serious. You wanna. You wanna know uh, what he's got. See what what he'll say. I, I hand you the piece of the note with the <laughs> phone number on it. I'll pull the phone off the wall and is you have a rotary or do you have. Probably, in the 80s, probably everyone has rotary right yeah well but we are in a weird 80s with uh -huh. weird tech here so mm -hmm. um so maybe well maybe i mean i mean phones are phones are rotary um uh uh it's you know there's there's the, the, the you know, push button phones are the brand new thing um sort of um but yeah no i mean Mobile phones are just like science fiction. Hmm. So, yep. Yep. So, not dial, like robots. Dial, dial, <laughs> dial. Okay. Yeah, ro ro dials, robots are totally real after all. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, uh, you, um, you hear some beeps on the other end. Deep, deep, deep. Deep, deep. And then it hangs up. Click. Oh. I'll try again. Dial, okay. dial, dial. Deep, dial. Deep, deep. Hmm. Your that phone rings. Ooh. Oh, I'll pick it up. Blackburn, deep, what do you want? Deep, deep, deep. Uh -huh. I, our, I believe I am serious and I want to know more. thumbs up what the message you left at the party last night <laughs> click mm. Mm. well good try like you know obviously we this guy is he called yeah, yeah but how do you like know how to call us uh i Make... mean Make an investigate check. Yeah, investigate. It's five dice. Come on, Dan. No, you can do this. One six. No, two sixes. Okay. Clearly, he's got a beeper. He, he's that, This number is a beeper. It's not an actual phone number. So when we called him, he got our number. He got your number, and so he called us back. Hmm. I thought only doctors had beepers. Well, uh, doctors and people who want to not answer their phones, I guess. I guess. Or have you know what number they have? Well, so I don't know what else we can do there. I mean, I think he's definitely a shady guy, but 
you know. Um, um, well, maybe we can find out from your sister next time they have a party. Maybe we can follow them, check up on them. Well, I mean, maybe, but like Lydia's back. I mean, I don't. I. Yeah, but she might go to one of these parties. You know? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, she goes to parties. I'm mostly just. Right, I'm worried about her. Hmm. Well, I mean, I don't, there's only so much we can do. Like, your parents won't help. Hmm. So, I mean, let's just um, let's go out and see. I know we should figure out what we want to duplicate tonight. I think we should duplicate the leg. The leg. The yeah. leg. That's a great idea. I wish I thought of that. I was going to duplicate my circuit board, but the leg's even better. You know, if we can get it to fit, I mean, that's a big leg. But no, I think we can, can you see. can you imagine it, it would only take, you know, while they're duplicating the leg, maybe I can poke around and find a body to attach them to. I, so I'm for an arm. Me, I'm, I'm, we can duplicate an arm. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm forgetting what we're talking about. What 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 leg is this? Daniel has a pet robot leg in the back of our hideout. Oh. Remember? Oh yes. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we could do that. Um Well, we all can bring something to duplicate, maybe if if Uncle Midas will give us enough power. What what else were you all thinking? He looks around at Tony, at Courtney, at Lena. Well, I mean, like Midas is just making money and stuff, right? Like, uh, maybe we should, should we make things to, to sell or like, I don't know. I, I could like, we could duplicate my boom box. Would it fit? I mean, it's not that big. I, I I imagine, by the way, that this is not one of those like gigantic monster. No, this know, is this is this yeah. Is, this, this is like it's about two and a half feet wide, eight inches thick, eight inches high. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, yeah, I I'm gonna I'll I'll duplicate this, and and hey, I want, I'll try this. Um, I get one of my um, my tape like my mixtapes that I've made. Um, okay. And I'll put that in there just to say, see if it makes a duplicate of the tape too. Okay. Tony, is there something you want to duplicate? David, did you hear us? Hello? I think I think he's got a really long delay. Yeah, I don't know. David, do you hear us? Uh, sorry, I didn't. Okay, we asked for Tony. What does it's Tony? It's wanna... body. Okay. Um, Tony, what do you want to duplicate? Oh, do you, can you not hear um, us? I mean, like it, I've been thinking about that. I have some comic books I'd like to. Okay, yeah. Okay. That looks okay. So you spend the rest of the afternoon gathering up stuff you want to duplicate, strapping them to your bikes or sticking them in your backpacks or what have you. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, are you going to? Uh, head to Midas's house, Midas's apartment, or well, where? What did he? What did he say? Did we? Did we? Uh, he said to he said to meet him at the scrapyard after dark, but don't let Pearson catch you. Okay, I yeah. mean, I I figured that's what we were we were doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you head out. You head out to the uh, the, the, the scrapyard. Let me get the. Uh, the 
my my no I, I know I have the link for the image in my notes. I just don't <laughs> have it right. Yeah, there we go. I just have this image of Lena with the foot of the leg in the basket on the front of her bike with like the, the and the bike has those streamers coming out of the handlebars <laughs> and it's just leaning on her her the the leg is going up and it's kind of folded over her back at the knee like it's so long the the foot is in the basket the knee is on her shoulder and then the thigh okay, of the so leg is, is down her back so this is a, this is a huge leg this is like a 6 foot tall yeah, this is well, Lena's only Lena's five feet, and it's a little bit taller. You know, standing up, it's a little bit taller than she is. Okay, so okay, so it's close to six feet tall. Yeah. All right. All right. So you so you ride around to the back, and you you find um, that uh, that um, uh, uh, Midas's pickup truck is stuck in there between two of these big hulking uh, uh, wrecks that are on the outside of the Pearson salvage uh, yard. And uh, you can hear a hum of power coming from the other side of the fence. Mm -hmm. And uh, you head inside and you see um, uh, uh, Midas uh, just hooking his power cable up to the side of this machine. Uh, the machine looks kind of like three washing machines hooked together by a bunch of black cables, except the sides of them are kind of pushed out. So it's, it's as if um, a sphere were like occupying the same space as a washing machine. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the, the sides and the top have got these rounded pieces kind of bulging out of them. Um, and there's a hatch in the front, and there's three of them in a row. Mm -hmm. um, and he says, oh, hey, kids, <laughs> you took me right up on that offer pretty much right away. It's pretty cool. So let me show you how this works. Awesome. And, he, and he takes a, uh, a black case, which you recognize as a binoculars case, and opens up the hatch in the machine, sticks them in, closes it up, and lights flash in the machine and uh and uh something winds up and then boom. and he opens up the one corner the, the the right side one and pulls out a black case walks over and puts it on his workbench opens up the left hand one pulls out another one puts it on the table and then uh says all right Who's next? And he opens up the center one and there's nothing inside. Yeah. So I don't think the leg's gonna fit. Darn. <laughs> Want it? <laughs> you can try. Well, I'll, I'll try putting my uh, my boom box in. Okay. The uh, the hole that the the, the, the that makes the, the hatch is 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 about a, a little more than a foot in diameter so yeah there's enough room there for you to stick it inside okay um and i i i look to him and i say like it's gonna work still right oh yeah 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 okay and uh so <laughs> boom and sure enough inside each side of the uh of the machine there is another there is a a boom box uh-huh I, 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 I take the two of them and they, they look, they look exactly the same, just like everything else. Precisely the same, even have the same tape inside. I, I'm going to, I look at them and I, I, I go to press play on both at the same time. Okay. They're not precisely in SIG. So it sounds a little weird, a little echoey having the sound coming out from both, but they will both work fine. Cool. Stereo, stereo. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah quadraphonic man <laughs> I, I yeah quadraphonic i i knew that <laughs> like, all right who's next who's next go ahead david go ahead tony tony will put his uh, yeah 
paste my comics in there and be like, and just stand back and look kind of question, questioningly at it. Okay, you close it up. Boom. Sure enough, each side has another the same stack of comic books in it. Uh, and he's, uh, he'll go through, he'll take him on, go through and look. They are they are exactly the same and, in every uh, man way that you can tell. Make sure there's uh, you make sure what? Okay. Make sure there's what, David? Oh, this is <laughs> uh, just like he knew there's a page, a page with a corn uh, with the tear in it, and he you know, compared that and yep. precisely identical. Yeah. All right, your turn, little girl. Turns to points to Lena. Lena, hey. Lena uh, picks up the leg that's on that's <laughs> that's folded over her body and is like. <laughs> Well, that's it? Yeah, I'm mm, geometrically it doesn't look like this is gonna fit in there. So uh well how's that knee how's that knee joint work? Maybe we can uh we can take it apart and put pieces in there. Um I mean I'm no I'm no genius at putting things back together again, but I am an expert at taking them apart. Okay. Um I think we could do it if Mina, you and I do work together, Uncle Midas. You want to now? You know, is it because uh, if the, if it if it um, if it folds up well enough, we might be able to fit it inside. Yeah, it's um, and and since this, it's this leg is you guys' creation, I'm gonna just you tell me whether you can fit it inside or not. Paul, does it? Yeah, fit? I I I think it fits if we turn it just the right way and fold it just a much it'll just okay. fit it I takes mean, it, it takes a lot of, of finagling it's kind of yeah. like the couch in uh in um in uh um dirt gently's that's constant that's stuck in the stairwell because it couldn't mm -hmm. go up and couldn't go down but you manage to get it in close the door and you kind of have to push the door a little bit to get it to go yeah to get the click <laughs> yeah <laughs> Boom. You open up the, the doors on either side, and there's two, two robot legs. legs. Um, hey, our robot will have two left feet. <laughs> <laughs> Make a tinker check to get them out. OK. Um, I think this is you, Lena. I think you're the better tinker. <laughs> I got uh, six dice. How about uh, you? Let me double check and see. Um, da -doom. Tinker, I've got six dice as well. Okay, I'll okay. let you do it. Uh -huh. So yeah, roll well. seven dice because you're working together. Okay. Oh, hold on. I keep forgetting that I I have I have multiple windows up. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so roll seven. Yeah. Yep. Roll seven dice. All right. Let's see. No. Do you want to use luck? Yes, I do. Okay, roll again. Three sixes. All right. <laughs> you get you you have to, it takes a little bit of work and you and you find and you and you kind of reach up and just bang on the top of the machine and then bunk the 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 whatever was holding lets go and the and the foot and the foot of the, this leg just kind of pops out and you manage to get them both out of the machine. Um, in the process of doing that, um, because you got three successes on that, um, uh, it, uh, uh, you, um, you find uh, on, um, uh, uh, on, a, on a kind of a, a 
an ID plate that's riveted to the, 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 the inside of the main drum in the center, which is completely mm -hmm. spherical inside. Um, you see a plate that says Von Arktarsky machine chamber number three. And sure enough, you check the other two and there's chamber number one and chamber number two uh, on it. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, that's the only other bonus I can think of to give you at this point. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, yep. Maybe you can get the other other one out without a problem. Yeah, no, she she got both of them out. She got both of them out. She rolled she rolled really good. Um, any other, anything else you want to do? Uh, uh, um, Midas looks at his watch. Says, "You know, I got some place that I need to be." Uh, he takes several things off the off of his bench that he's duplicated and uh, starts bringing them out to his truck. So who made this thing? Oh, they made it out of the loop, man. They got all kinds of weird shit out there. Well, but then why why do you have it? Oh, it, every you know every few days a truck comes around. They got shit they want to recycle. You know, want to take apart and put. You know, so they they, they the, the the robot over there grabs it, puts it on the ground. I cut it up and sort the pieces out and he points to these four bins that you saw last time uh i just you know cut it up stick it in the bins they haul them back that's my job okay cool and you know i get to pick which thing i take apart next and uh i'm just haven't taken this one apart yet <laughs> isn't it neat oh it's man it's 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 cool it's totally cool I don't so, know why. I don't know why they sent it out here. To be, to be honest, it's. It, I mean, it's a machine. It works. It does shit. It does shit. That's yeah. like amazing. Why would you? you why you would you? Have, try, you why would you scrap this? You didn't fix have to fix it or anything. No, I just plugged the power in. Maybe they they've got, got a better like, version. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they found a way to make another one of itself. Can, and this is like a duplicate machine? duplicating machine that's fine <laughs> yeah i don't so, mind so yeah they did the same thing is that they had an I extra mean, one sooner or later somebody's going to ask what's happening all the power you know so it's, the jig's going to be up sooner sooner or later but i'm just gonna you know i'm gonna have fun with it make some money on it while i can all and, right uh, so he he loads his stuff stuff into his truck and uh well, you can you... see that there's a there's a significant pile of stuff in the back of his truck now. Mm -hmm. um, he's 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 been hard at work, hard at work, duplicating okay. stuff I, to sell. I, yeah. So is that is that the impression that we have is that he, he that it, that's what he's doing is that it's more duplicated things to sell. Yeah. Yeah. It, okay. it, it, he's he's he said it. You know. Yeah. He's he's uh, he's. Uh, yeah, he tells you, I'm, I'm making duplicates of shit. I'm, you know, like buy something from the store, duplicate it, bring it back for a return. Now I got one. Mm -hmm. And you know, back. B borrow something from your ma, bring it out here, duplicate it, bring it back. And uh, I got, you know, all this stuff as a pair of binoculars and a sewing machine and a uh, weed whacker and all this stuff and uh, i'm gonna drive it into las vegas and uh bring it to a pawn shop i know what do you think would happen if you did it to a person uh there'd be two of you yeah. <laughs> i don't know that'd be, that'd be that sounds to me like a recipe for a lot of problems man like like just like uh, just be, look, look it would be a it'd be a, it'd be a real problem because you know like you got two people running around and then you then then you start having to explain shit mm. i mean who you know that that that'd be that'd be really bad we'd want to try it with an animal first <laughs> daniel realizes he said that aloud <laughs> and goes like oh crap yeah 
Oh. Like this. Like, I am not getting in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know I fit, <laughs> but no. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I guess uh, if you've got to get going. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. I got some place to be. You know. So you know, you're lucky. All right. He, un he unhooks. Go poof. He unhooks the what? What'd you say? You're lucky the things don't go poof. You know. Well. You, you know, yeah, that is lucky. That's that's real lucky. Come out and <laughs> they the, kind of do, right? Poof, things don't go poof. They kind of do because you put them in the middle and then it's gone from the middle. So, anyways, right. he, he unhooks the power from it, walks over, plugs the power back into his uh, laser cutter, and uh, and holds the flap and the fence open for you guys to leave. Okay. Daniel's a bit dragging his feet. He's okay. he's going to be last. Keeps looking back at the machine and the power. And... Okay. Come um, on, come on. I know, I know. Right. It's so cool. are we you can come sneak past. You can come back again back? tomorrow night. It'll, it'll be fine. Tomorrow's a school night. No, oh, it's this is a summer vacation. Yeah. So, no, no, but it would be so <laughs> totally character for Daniel to say that. Though. <laughs> I'm, gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that as a mistake. Okay. okay. I don't see you go to school tomorrow. <laughs> Not unless you got summer school, right? No. Well, good. <laughs> summer school sucks. Let me tell you. All right. All so, right. so he waits till you all you're all out. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then uh, lets the fence fall back and gets into his truck. So, do we have to sneak past the security guard again, or like? Uh, you don't see. You don't. It looks like all this activity has just not, not, not gotten the security guard's attention at all. Oh. Yeah, we. Yeah, we could just bike around to the road, and you know, I don't think anyone will see us. All right. All right. I think that Lena in anticipation of success has a couple of her dad's ties and has knotted them together as a rope. Okay. <laughs> in order to uh, try and strap these legs to her so that they don't <laughs> fall off okay. because they're kind of crossways in the basket and then folded over her shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> and so she needed something to, to, uh, to tie them together with but he would notice bungee cords missing, but he won't notice his ties missing. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, this this looks inherently unstable. Is anyone going to help her with this? Yes, of well, course. Daniel's going to help her. Uh, so, so, how, so how did she do it with the one the last time? Well, the one was easy because it was just one and it fit. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, because I've got my two boom boxes now, so like I don't. <laughs> uh, I, Dan, you know Daniel will take the extra one. He should be able okay. to fit it on his bike. Okay. Okay. Because Daniel um, didn't actually bring anything of his own to do it with mm -hmm. Okay. So you've got it like, like on the on the you've got one of those um, book racks on the back yeah. fender, you know, a little a little uh, little spring loaded thing on your back yeah. fender, and you've got it like trapped in that, and then one of the one of Lena's dad's ties holding it in place. And <laughs> you're not so much riding as much as you are just kind of walking along, straddling the bike to keep it upright while it goes because yeah. it's tremendously unwieldy. Um, <laughs> but you manage to get back to your hideout um, uh, before, uh, 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 before too late. Um, uh, it's, still, it's still pretty late. It's, it's uh, um, uh, uh, you know, it gets dark pretty late in the summer, but um, but yeah, you, you managed to get back. You've got now got two left robot legs, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, an extra boombox and an extra set of comic books. Um, what are you going to do with the extra boombox? Well, I I think I didn't think that far ahead. It was kind of just like. <laughs> I guess I'll have another one now. And uh, if one of them breaks or something like that, but uh, 
I I feel like it it feels weird to sell it because uh-huh. then it would be a little too obvious <laughs> that uh, I mm-hmm. like why do I still have one if I sold one? Um, and so I think I'm just going to hide the second one in my room. You could just still keep it at the hideout. Yeah, well, that's, that's what Lena would say is, you know, you go back tomorrow, copy your tapes, and then you have tapes at what, at the house and tapes here. Mm. Yeah, uh, I suppose that's true. Yeah, I can make it. I could do that. So the second one goes at the hideout. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. I mean, that works for that works for Tony as well in his comic books. He doesn't have to lug the comic books from home to hideout. He can just read them at either well, place. Yeah. And now we've got two legs to 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 bracket making, to bracket yeah. or cover up. I, I tell you what, we can use it to disguise the fact that one of the boards is loose. <laughs> and put it put it you know when we're here you could move the leg to the side and and access the hatch but then when we're all gone you move the leg in place and, it keeps and it'll it it'll safe yeah right perfect okay yes uh so with no further business um when uh, Courtney and Lena get home, um, uh, they uh, they find um, uh, uh, their dad at the kitchen table with Lydia, um, mm. and he's having one of his serious heart to heart heart conversations. Ooh. And, you know, he's got he's got her hands in his. He's leaning across. He's looking into, looking at her, and she's kind of looking down. Um, and and um, they're having a really serious conversation. Um, are you going to sneak past and not get involved, or listen in, or what? Well, I definitely want to. Uh, I. I want to first get a sense of what is uh, what is Lyd- Lydia's like reaction to this. Is is this a she is actually engaging on a heart to heart level, or is this a uh, eyes rolling? I can't believe you're having you're making me do this sort of reaction. Uh, make an empathize check. All right. Yeah. Meanwhile, Lena is just going to baldly walk straight through. <laughs> no stopping. No making eye contact. I'm just here. Like- just right past the through. just right past the kitchen. Okay. All yep. Right. Just right past the kitchen. Ooh, I got uh, I got three sixes. Okay. Um, she is going through the motions of telling him what he wants to hear, but is in no way moved by his entreaties to mm-hmm. um, to treat the family with more respect. Okay. Um, I want to then try to uh, get over to where I can um, uh, I can listen to, uh, without uh, being it being obvious. Okay, make a sneak check. All right, sneak is going to be not as good. Nope. Okay. No sixes. Uh, okay. Um, uh, your dad says. Uh, Courtney, this is this is kind of a private conversation. Can you can you head to your room for a little bit, please, honey? I will go ahead and do so. Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, and uh, a while later, like a half an hour later, uh, you hear a knock on your door, Courtney's door. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will answer it. Okay. Says, can I? His, your dad says, "Can I come in?" Yeah. He, he comes in and closes the door and leans against it. He says, "The uh, we're all going through some some really tough times right now. I've had a lot of uh, you know I've spent a lot of time at work, and uh, your mom's having a really tough time too with uh, with everything. And um, I just wanted." Lydia to know that um, 
we love her and we want her to be part of this and um and that um i'm worried about her um do you know anything about what's been up with Lydia? No. I mean, she doesn't talk to me anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Now, um, if, if, if you learned that she was doing something dangerous, you'd, you'd let me know, right? Uh, yeah which is kind of, <laughs> I think, um, I think it's not so much that Courtney feels like she's lying as much as it's just kind of an understanding that probably Courtney's definition of what merits telling dad is different than what his would be. And so it's not necessarily like I'm just lying as much as it's like, I'm going to be the one to decide whether I think it's dangerous right. enough that you need yeah. to be told. All right. All right. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, thanks. He, and he, uh, uncomfortably leaves the room. <clears throat> you want to do anything else before bed? Any of you? I think Lena wants to verify whether or not that pen was Lydia's. Okay. Who's got it, by the way? Who's got the pen? Uh, I think if, uh, if um, Lena had had any interest, you know, Courtney would have let her have it. Okay. Well, we'll say Lena has the pen. Okay. Okay. So you're going to, what are you going to do? Um, do I know where uh lydia keeps her purse um make an investigate check okay all right that's just two which is probably not going to be great but you never know you yeah you chance. never know <laughs> um all right let's see I did get a success. Okay. Uh, she keeps it um, in her room, tucked between her pillow and the wall. Mm -hmm. um, she, it's, it's definitely something that she keeps um, uh, uh, in the most difficult place to be checked on. Okay. When it's not when she's not carrying it around, which you know, yeah. if she's awake, she's carrying it around, right? Um, if she, you know, not not if she's like in the house or whatever, but if but if she's you know, she's usually got got track of where it is, right? So, yeah. So, if you wanted uh, to check it out, you would need to do that while she was asleep or in the shower or something. Okay. Yeah. But she does usually take her showers in the evening. So, yeah, so I will wait until I know that she's in the shower and, and sneak in. Yep, sneak in. Okay, make a sneak check. Mm -hmm. Which is five on the die. Okay. Oh, no, no, no successes. I'm going to okay. burn another luck and re-roll that. Okay. All right. <laughs> I've got four of these. Right. So I didn't take advantage yeah. of it last time. Oh, still no successes. So I'm not going to worry about it again. Okay. Well, um, while you are, you, you are, you, you have, you've waited till the shower is running and uh, you've gone to her room and just stepped inside and you hear the bathroom door open and uh -huh. Lydia says, Lena, what are you doing in my room? Just looking for something and I'll keep going in because <laughs> I'm a little sister. <laughs> okay. She runs in after you 
and 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 closes the door. She's got a towel wrapped around her. She's a little wet, and she, and she 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 um uh, uh she says um you don't get to go through my you know the house rule you gotta knock before you go in you don't go in someone's room when we're not there i knocked you were just in the shower you didn't hear me <sighs> just like this morning when you weren't here she she's a bit taken aback by that so uh she she's, she's she stops and crosses her arms and gives you a gives you a kind of a um an appraising look. Okay, and I'll just move over to her bed and pop the the pillow over, and mm -hmm. take a look at the front of her purse. I'm not trying to go through her purse. I just want to look at the front of her purse where the yeah, pins are to you, see. You pull the pen, you pull the pillow away, and the pin, pin is definitely missing. Okay. So I guess it was a really good party if one of your pins is missing. <laughs> yeah so and she'll she'll reach into her uh pocket and pull out the pen she tries to snatch it away from you you're gonna let her no okay uh make a move check okay and that is seven die um let's see I got at least two two sixes. Okay. Yeah, she she's she um uh, uh she is uh um uh she tries to grab it and misses. Um she, um she's come on, give it back. Um that's my Davy pen. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how much of a little shit Lena is going to be. <laughs> Nobody I give it back. You. you owe me. You owe me a favor. You owe me. And she'll she, she'll she, um, she, she'll 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 wiggle the pin and then put it on the desk and walk out. She pounces on the pin to put back on her purse, and and says, "I didn't agree to anything." <laughs> Lena will just laugh at her. Okay. <laughs> Uh, any more scenes to, to play out? Uh, uh, how, does Courtney react to this little drama at all? I well, I I had the impression that I was not present for for that. Well, whole... yeah, you 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 you, but you could you could hear what was going on at least. Uh, I yeah. think I'm sulking again. So. Okay, all right. Um, I yeah, I think I'm kind of letting lena do that and not wanting to okay. be so he, the 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 math in courtney's head is that lena is doing little kid things and if i were to go over there now lydia would think of the two of us as being little kids instead of mm, okay. seeing me as the bigger kid right. <laughs> okay um <clears throat> Um, anything else that, that, that evening? I mean, I, we kind of, we already came in pretty late, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you did. Yeah. You did. Okay. So you go to bed. Um, in the morning, uh, things, nothing has changed significantly. Lydia is at breakfast and your mom is, is up and has actually made breakfast. Mm -hmm. And she says, uh, so you've been out with your friends a lot lately. Is she, who is she saying that to? 
to Courtney. Oh, okay. You too. I mean, I first. I, I mean, first few days of summer vacation. I guess that's to be expected. Yeah, I mean, we're we're doing stuff. What do you mean? Oh, you know, just a little worried you came back really late without a call or anything. To try to try and let us know where you are. Okay. That's all. All right. I mean, uh, okay. I I I think I'm suddenly uh <laughs> like uh didn't realize I'm surprised that they noticed because it feels like they <laughs> haven't been. Yeah. Grilled cheese for lunch when it's time. I'll call when it's time. And you know that she means but yell out the back door. Okay. <laughs> so so yeah. doing anything today? I mean, I I I don't know. We're just doing kid stuff, I guess. Like mm -hmm. um Okay. okay. Yeah, I, so I'll 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 confess I'm feeling a little bit like I I you know the kids are kind of running around, but I'm not sure what else we, we necessarily have Okay, right now. So, so you do, you do your normal stuff. Um, are you going to check in with Midas? I mean, so, you know, like that's, uh, do we have like Daniel or Tony to. Yep. Yep. I assume yep. the four of you get together for your yep. usual shenanigans. Um, go exploring ride bikes, that kind of thing. The things you normally do. Uh, play some tunes in the hideout. <laughs> I wonder if we should find out more about the loot place. One thing well, Tony I mean... would do is uh, uh, each morning check, like morning. So, uh, David, it might be the but lag, but you keep check saying... on his comic books, make sure they're still there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Comic books are still there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David, it, it seems like you've got a lot of lag there. It's, yeah, it's pretty it's, dramatic. It's, it's, it's like yeah. seven or eight seconds. Not much to do uh, about it, I guess. I mean, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, know what to do. <laughs> I mean, unless we want to just try, like, try dropping out and jo rejoining the call. I don't, I can't think of anything else. But I mean, it's, it's really, yeah, it's really bad. Um, all right, let me move on to the next thing that happens. Um, you. Christiana, you mentioned that Courtney wanted to duplicate her mixtapes to have the tapes in both places. Mm -hmm. So that night she goes to meet up with Midas and he's not there. Okay. Hmm. Um, is it is it just me or would anyone else would everyone else have been anybody who says I, that they're there is there I, I i i always am up for seeing uncle midas and what he's found and what he's doing so yeah okay yeah uh lena kind of want to pokes around and see if she can find an arm okay <laughs> find more robot parts maybe yeah. we can get a whole robot yeah okay um make an investigate check to see if you can find more robot parts um if you have better investigate Minus Daniel, five. I'll help. Minus five dice. Well, I think. Yeah, Tony mine had, is not. <laughs> Tony had okay, to investigate, so... right? Mm -mm. No. No. Nope. No investigate. I okay. Oh, no. Tony. Tony had investigate. Tony, Tony has investigate. Yes, that's what I said. If if, if, if yeah. Are you right. gonna, uh, Tony has six. Yeah. You want you're gonna are you gonna recruit Tony for your hunt for robot parts? Yeah, that's the question, Lena. Would you would it be you and I, or were you, are we going to pull Tony into this shenanigan? We can pull Tony in if you want. If he if Tony wants to be in the shenanigan, then Tony can be in the shenanigan. <laughs> David, is Tony in with this? Wow. Okay. Yeah. 
Can anyone help? Okay, roll, see, roll, 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 investigate. Yes. Wow, I don't know what. what the, this is really um, difficult. Yeah, this is really because, bad. Uh, mm, I don't. I'm not David, sure if we should try. Roll, investigate. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, I, I don't know if we, sh what, what we should do here. Cause, uh, this yeah. is really okay. difficult to have a conversation. Yeah. One success. I got nothing. Nothing. Okay. okay yeah. You were unable to find robot parts. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, None. uh, but, but as, as I said, when you get there, Midas is not at the scrapyard. Uh, I assume you've been poking around in the uh, in the scrapyard without him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What's Courtney doing while they're hunting for robot parts? Um, I'm well. See, I'm I'm. <laughs> Christiana wants to see if I can uh, if she could set it up herself, but I think that that's not really Courtney's thing. Uh, I I don't know. Maybe she would because okay. she's just hanging out waiting for everyone else. She but uh, she doesn't. Yeah, she's not especially spec'd out for machinery, but uh, she would <laughs> oh, investigate it herself. Yeah. I guess to yeah. see if she can remember the way that um, Midas did it. Okay. Um, it's not tremendously complicated. Mm -hmm. um, you just, you know, basically you just plug the power in and, uh, and uh, put whatever you want to duplicate in the in the, okay. in the hopper so that's easy i don't think i would do it to anything like all by myself in there if everyone else is looking for robot parts but what i might do is try to figure out like i want to snoop in midas's stuff to see if he's oh, uh, okay uh like if i can figure out maybe where he is or what else he's been doing that might be interesting all right make an investigate check okay well let's see investigate that's not terrible Oh, uh, that's one six, one success. Okay. Um, hmm. So you don't find any clues there, but you do remember that, um, first of all, Midas is not the most trustworthy person or the most reliable. He's also, if he was going into uh, Las Vegas to pawn all that stuff, he would at that point have a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. And if he had a bunch of money, he would probably buy weed, in mm -hmm. which case he might be toked out at home. Okay. Then... That's the first thing that comes to mind as a possibility of where he might be. Okay. Well, I think that, uh, you know, that seems likely. And so if he's not here and he's not likely to be coming in, then we'll just have to run the machine ourselves. Okay. But I think I would wait for the others to join me. I, okay. I wouldn't do it by myself. Okay. Um, uh, they're, they're in the middle of the hunt. Um, it's, it's taking a while. Do you want to go find um, go find Daniel and bring him back to help supervise this, or are you going to wait till they're done? I think I will uh, start following them around and complaining that they're taking too long. Okay. <laughs> All right. No wonder we didn't find anything. <laughs> we, got to, we got distracted by Courtney. That, that, that it, eventually, that Courtney is going to be able to guilt <laughs> Daniel into coming back finally. Okay, so you come back <laughs> and you duplicate your tapes. Mm -hmm. So it See, worked for um, us just like before. Wor worked for you just like before. Um, and uh, the, 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 uh, the, the hookup takes a little bit of finagling to get it to work, but it seems to be pretty foolproof. I mean, if Midas can use it, it's got to be foolproof. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and uh, uh, and uh, yeah, you hook it up and it works just fine. You now have two two copies of your, all your mixtapes. Cool. 
Okay, I want, I, I've been waiting to try to duplicate this. Uncle Minus is around, but I'm going to finally duplicate. So he takes out the circuit board. Okay. He puts the circuit board into the okay. duplication machine. Right. Close it up. Close it up. And he opens up. He's a see he's very cautious. He opens up one of the exit things. There's a little pile of dust in the wow. center of the. <gasps> Yeah, then it goes off this, this shriek. Ah! Why didn't it work? He, he runs over to the other one. It's a little pile of dust. Ah! Wait, this was your this was your iconic item, right? No, my iconic item is actually my Rubik's cube. You gave this one okay. to me. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a little pile of dust. Ah! Oh no! Ah! 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 Okay. Okay, Daniel. Hang on. Just calm down. I think it. Let's figure. You hear a door open from the other side of the scrapyard. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. And All right. a flashlight beams. Oh no! Kind of flashes uh -oh. around the, the 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 area. All right. Uh, unplug the machine and let's get the crap out of here. <laughs> okay. Um, please make sneak checks. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, okay. All of us. Yes. All right. Who is who? First of all, who is who is unplugging the machine? Uh, Daniel is. Okay. Right. Okay, Daniel, um, yeah. make a um, make a tinker check. Okay, tinker. My tinker is six. Okay. One success. Okay, you successfully get it unhooked quickly. Um, and now everybody needs to make a, a sneak check. All right. This one's not going to be so good. Uh, no successes from me. Mm -hmm. I got a success. Okay. I failed my sneak. Hero. Okay. So as you are slipping out, um, a uh, uh, Lena is the only one who has gotten out the, the, out the fence when a flashlight beam catches the three of you um, and you hear a man's voice say you're there stop right there what do you do <laughs> you do not stop i run away <laughs> you bolt okay i believe yeah. the answer is bolt uh-huh okay so you run out, jump on your bikes yeah right away. okay okay yeah because um, i i the think flashlight I... beam <laughs> oh go ahead Flashlight beam plays over you as you as you ride off into the desert, but there's no pursuit, and mm. you quickly leave it behind. Yeah, I'll talk these security guards. Although probably <laughs> like uh, Midas might get in trouble. You know they're gonna they're gonna like the security guard might look in there, see what we were doing. But we got it all unplugged, right, Daniel? Yeah, yeah, yeah we got it unplugged. Excuse us, I kind of know what it was or what it does. So why didn't it? Um, why didn't it copy your your circuit I, board? I, I I I don't know. I thought I'd get two of them. And I got nothing. I got no circuit board anymore. I don't know why it would do that. It's it. I mean, it go okay to the. the the robot leg, and that's not simple. I mean, why wouldn't that do to get a super board? I don't understand. So maybe uh, it's because it's a part of a thing and not a whole thing. Like the, the leg is a whole thing in and of itself, <laughs> and it's got multiple parts, but maybe the so the leg board? is a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's all no. I got. That's all I got. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm 11. So, <laughs> it's 11 logic. So what was it? What was, what made your circuit board special though? Like what? It was from the it was from the loop people. Well, but isn't the yeah. machine from them too? Maybe that's why it went. Maybe that's why they why they threw out the the machine. Because it would copy their their circuit boards. Their stuff maybe. Well, the leg is their stuff. 
And nope. they throw out the machine because well, it I'll, doesn't always work. G GM, is, are, aren't robots just generally made in the world? Yeah, the, there's there's a number of manufacturers. Okay, um, so they're not exclusive to the loop. No, yeah, yeah, they're 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 they're, they're found around the world. I nope. mean, there's one there in the scrapyard. It's not, um, yeah. it's not an unusual thing. Okay. Um, they tend to be expensive, and um, you know, uh, uh, and a, a little temperamental. Um, they're not. They're not like you know. It's not the got to the point where you know everybody has one. You know, doing housework, but um, you know, if you have the kind of uh, kind of job that 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 a robot can do, it would would be helpful with. Yeah, the people have got them. Um, it's it's just not um, it's not it's not ubiquitous. It's but it's common. I mean, is there any sort of role that would help tell us more about this? Or I mean, right now we're just kind of speculating. Mm -hmm. Um, players. yeah. Um, I'll say a calculate role might give you a calculate um, and, and a clue. All right, my calculate is um an eight eight dice. Can That's anyone help good. me? I mean, <laughs> go ahead, roll it. All right. I only have seven dice out, so I'm gonna have to roll another one after this. One more. That is three successes. Nice. Okay. Um, one thing that you have not tried is what happens when you duplicate something that's already been duplicated. Uh -huh. uh, oh, that's what we can do tomorrow. We can duplicate one of the duplicates and see what happens. Yeah. Some something some something we won't miss in well, case it in case it goes poof. Maybe the super, maybe the maybe the circuit board was duplicated and that's why it went to dust. Because mm. it's already well, been duplicated. So if we like duplicate one of your mixtapes. Yeah. We could try that. Make, yeah. Um, well, and also like didn't I mean Where'd you get that circuit board in the first place? It might just gave it to you, right? Right. Well, so maybe he did that because he had already made one and sold it. Another. Maybe. Or, or, or like maybe he had to give ha, he had to give one back, and so he made another one of them to give to you before he gave the other one back. That makes sense. We gotta try it. We can experiment. Right. Well, in any but we case, gotta be careful of those to, guards, though. Yeah, we need to tr not stay out as late tonight, <laughs> unless we yeah. unless it's already really late. I don't remember if it was just just after dark or. Yeah, it's 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 by, because you spent some time hunting around in the scrapyard. It's getting close to nine o'clock. Okay, well that's 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 not so late that it would it's not. Yeah. yeah, it's because, not terribly late, but if you were to do anything more tonight, you'd end up getting home. Early. Yeah, I, I, I think Courtney's inclined to not, uh, not get talked at by her parents if, if that's avoidable. Okay. At this point. Okay. So you head home. Yeah. We'll have to. Tr um, you should maybe check on Midas though to see if he's just at home because he's probably, you know, like, you know, like smoking weed or something you're gonna yeah, go head daniel's over to his gonna, place? Da yeah daniel's gonna da i mean they might go home but daniel's gonna bike over to midas's place okay is anybody going along. with them is anybody going with daniel i i think i i'm courtney would have encouraged Le lena to follow uh court you know and come home as well but would also probably not chase after her if she didn't well, yeah, I think I think Lena is probably tired because this has been a lot of late nights mm -hmm. in a mm -hmm. row. So she's probably ready to go home okay. at this point. How about Tony? Is Tony going with Daniel or is Tony going home? We got uh yeah. <laughs> Still got our delay, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, but uh, I, I have no idea what's going on because I can't hear anything. Okay. <laughs> I can't understand anything. 
Okay. Um, yeah, right. I, that's that's. I don't know. I don't know what else we can do from our end here. The Zoom call is kind of running fine for the rest of us, but uh, um, yeah. Um, it, it, I think we're going to have to have uh, David uh, listen to the podcast version to uh, yeah. to know what's going on. Um, um, yeah, I yeah. Sorry, I, I don't I don't know how else to kind of um, I don't know what else right. we can try, David. Well, for 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 tonight's play, at least, um, we'll say that Daniel is heading there alone. Yeah. Um, you get to Midas's house, and there's a black Camaro pulled up next to his truck. That's different. And there's lights on in his apartment. Go yeah, park. I'll park the bike and cautiously go up the stairs and listen okay. to see if I can hear anything. Luckily, make a uh, make a sneak check. <laughs> yeah, Daniel was also sneaky. Yeah, not even close. Would you like to spend luck? Yeah, let's 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 spend let's spend one of our lucks on this thing. Okay. All right. So my luck. So I have luck is two. Let's give one more shot. Nope, I'm not going to okay. spend another. Okay, you uh, you head up the stairs, and uh, and there is a tall man in a black suit with a red tie, and his belt buckle is in the shape of a set of uh, uh, brass knuckles, <sighs> and he steps out of the door. And, and looks down at you coming up the stairs and he turns over his shoulder and says, who's this little shit? And you hear Midas say, oh, that's, that's my nephew. Yeah, he's cool, Don't worry about him. And, uh, and uh, the man pushes past you on the stairs, there's not a lot of room. Um, he doesn't like try and push you off, but it nevertheless, he makes it your job to get out of his way. Way, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and he, and he turned, as he's going, he's like, he, he says to Midas, Just remember what I said. And he gets into his car and drives away. And Midas visibly deflates, just sits down in his kitchen chair. <sighs> and you notice that he has a spreading black eye. Uncle Midas, did that guy beat you up? No, uh, he hit me. It's it's my own fault. I made a stupid ass decision. Can I help? No, I don't think you can. Yes. Grown up shit. Look, uh, just I just want to make sure you were okay after your trip to Las Vegas. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> that was fine. Uh, no, and the, the smell of weed out of his room is just like overpowering. Yeah. yeah. He's clearly been smoking it pretty heavily. He's like, yeah, man, you don't, you, you shouldn't be here. If you stay or hang around here, you're going to go home smelling like it. Mom's going to ask questions. Oh, okay, just, okay. just go on, just go on home now. Just go on home. Yeah. D Daniel quibbles and wibbles and then leaves and gets on his bike and slowly pedals home, thinking about okay. this and thinking about poor Uncle Midas and everything else. Okay. So we um, reconnect in the morning. Any, any developments mm -hmm. overnight? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, no more developments overnight. Uh, you meet up the following morning. Um, like, you mean you didn't even ask him about the circuit board? 
this this guy was beat him up. He had a black eye and everything. Oh. I wasn't going to ask him about the circuit board when he, I mean, clearly this guy's doing bad things to him. Well, did the why did the guy look like he was from the loop? Like, is he in trouble for for? I mean, he was like wearing his black machine? suit and a tie. He kind of looked like a guy from like a mobster film. Mm. Does he owe like lots of money or something? I um, thought, well, Paul, yeah, make an investigate check. All right, investigate. <laughs> No, I'm not. No, not not even. I'm not making a roll. You recognize oh. his voice. Oh, because you called oh. him. That's Blackburn. <gasps> oh. And and then Daniel stops and goes back against the wall and stops. It. <gasps> That's that. That was the guy on the phone. Oh man. And the beeper. Lydia says he's dangerous. I know. Well, I mean, I guess he already we already know that he if he hit your your if he hit your my your uncle. Yeah. Well, but like if your uncle is already is making a lot of money with um selling this all the all the, the things he's duplicating, why is he why is he in trouble with Blackburn? Maybe maybe he spent too much money more money than he had and that blackburn lent him money now he's trying to make it up or why would blackburn, blackburn knows have... he has a machine well blackburn's and... like oh maybe blackburn's making him do stuff with the machine i don't know we should go tell him about your circuit board at least but if but then, but, but then he'll know that we use the machine without permission well remember he told well, us never to do that well okay but like, and we, and we should try. We should try the. We should try the experiment first. Then we can say, "Oh yeah, that happens in circuit board too." How are we going to do the experiment? Like, won't, won't we have to tell them why we're doing the experiment? I, why? Just why say you want, you want another copy, them? or you want another copy of the, of the mixtape, but, and see what mm -hmm. happens. And then we then we can say, "Oh, oh, we do because and if it and if it does." Do, screw up then we say oh that's that, that's I don't, what we do. now no, obviously no daniel this is your uncle not mine but um he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who gets mad real easy no no he, he i mean he smokes a lot of weed and doesn't do uh -huh. a lot and i kind of think it's okay to just tell <laughs> but I okay. If okay, you really don't want to, tonight. I I don't want to get you in trouble with your uncle if you really don't want to. But I feel like it would be okay. We, we should see if he's okay tonight. Anyway, we should go to the thing early tonight oh. so you don't go. Somewhere. You know where he is during the day because it's a work day. He'll be at the scrapyard. That's true. We could go. We could go, like we like when he's having lunch and say hello and mm -hmm. ask him about things. Yeah. Want to go to go, go go tomorrow during the day? I mean it's it's morning now. Oh, it's morning. Oh, sorry, it's morning. This is, this is the this is the following morning. Yeah. yeah. So let's 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 go like around noon because he start he starts he he doesn't always get to work on time, I know. So okay. So question from Lena. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh how about the mean guy who almost caught y'all? What about him? Aren't you concerned he might catch you again and say, oh, yeah, these kids? Do you think that, like, the same guy who's there in the middle of the night last night is going to be working during the day, too? Probably. That seems Who like knows? a bad job. Yeah, then he'd be working, he'd be working all the day and all night. That's bad. He couldn't do that. Maybe he lives there. Well, no. um, uh, <laughs> Daniel knows that that, no. uh, that, that that the place has a night watchman um uh, uh it's uh it's uh the the uh it's peter pearson's it runs the place and his son uh is the is the is the quote unquote night watchman and just make sure that people don't steal cars out of the yard steal their cars back so um yeah i i don't think we have to worry about that guy okay 
I mean, it's not like he saw me, so... (laughs) We we just got to be careful at night. Okay, so you head over to the scrapyard, um, and uh, Midas is working there. But he's looking a bit less, a um, le- bit less uh, uh, energetic about it. He's uh, he how's his eye that. look? <laughs> uh, he's um, he's got his uh, he's got a baseball hat pulled down really oh. far, and sunglasses on, and uh, and uh, but you can still see the bruise out underneath his glasses. Yeah, so he's still he's still got it. Uncle Midas, I wanted to talk to you about what I wanted to talk to you about last night, but. You were busy. At the end of the, you were busy is because, like, after a pregnant pause, you were busy. Daniel told us about Blackburn. Oh, man, don't get involved with him. He's 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 bad news. Well, sounds like it. He doing? Yeah. Why are you involved with him? Just. I keep. I feel like I keep talking to people who tell tell me it's a bad idea to do something that they have clearly already done. He puts down his his uh, his his metal saw, sits down on a on a robot head, and just says. Look, kids, I need you to stay away. I don't want you guys getting caught up in all this. Stay away? Yeah, don't come back here. Caught up uh, in what? Making duplicates of things? There's bad people out there in the world, kids. Blackbird's one of them. And uh, if you get close to him, um, bad things are going to happen. So you just need to just, just. I'm sorry. I know I told you it could, you could come by and use the machine, but um, you can't. Um, Mr. Midas, I. Uh... I, I feel like this is something I have to tell you because you apparently don't know, but when you talk to young people like us in vague terms like that, it really does not go very far to persuading us of your point because all it does is make us want to know what the hell you're talking about. Make a charm check. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Charm. <laughs> uh, that's just one six, but a success. Okay. Uh, he leans back. Says, like, All right. Come on, we're mature. You can tell us. All right. All right. We're All already right. in so deep. Uh, All right. So. I got back from Lit Vegas and I got bought some weed, got a little too high. Thought it'd be a good idea to make a duplicate of it and uh, sell the second half. Of the weed? Yeah. Why didn't you just duplicate the money? <laughs> I did duplicate the money. I went to Vegas. I sold the stuff. I came back. I duplicated the money. I bought some weed. And then I duplicated the weed. And then I thought it would be a good idea to sell the extra weed. I, I do an exaggerated wink to the others and I say, Why didn't you just duplicate the money again? <laughs> wink wink yeah that that doesn't work it, try to duplicate it, something that's been duplicated before it just turns to dust oh daniel so. says oh so you can't just make em- yeah those duplicates 
Right. Oh. That's how I got in trouble in the first place. Found out about the machine and I got my paycheck and I put it in and I duplicated and that was cool. And then I took all of that money and put it in and then it all turned to dust. So I didn't have my paycheck. Wait. And I was. Okay. Sorry. Sorry I just never lost mind. I, 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 got, <laughs> I got caught because I was just thinking like, wait, the paycheck, like a check. And then you took no. the money and tried to, and like, it was like it, it, it could track that, the identity of that money. No. Anyway, sorry. That's uh, not what you're saying. Um, oh, okay. he meant to pay from his paycheck. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. That seems like. So I lost my entire paycheck. So I had the idea of copying everything in my house and having a yard sale. And so, uh, you know, basically I've been, working my way back from having turned my entire paycheck to dust. Everything in your house is not worth as much as one of your paychecks? Not at a yard sale. Wow. I guess you did give me a pretty good deal on all those albums. <laughs> yeah. So. That's why you don't so, have money, Uncle Midas. Oh. And so I decided I was going to sell the extra weed. And Blackburn found out about it. Hmm. And uh, and I told him about the machine. That, yeah, that 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 part seems like is that why you want us to stay away? Because he's going to be coming in and using it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's. And if he sees you around and you know about the plan, he'll he'll he. I don't know what he's going to do. But it's not going to be good. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I just need you guys to stay away. Hmm. I, I looked at the others and just say, like, well, we want to try to help if we can. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's really bad news. And I don't want anything bad happening to you guys. We don't want anything bad to happen to you, Uncle Midas. Uh, I'll be okay. All right. He needs he needs to have someone here so he can use the machine. What if you made the machine not work anymore? Would he stop bothering you? <laughs> He'd know it was me. He would know fucking know it was me. He told me that if that if uh, that if uh, that if the machine isn't working when he comes back, it's going to be more than just my eye. Oh, no. More than just a black eye. Oh no. I mean, I was. The thing, you see, I don't know if you know about this case, but you know, when someone's a big time drug dealer like him, you can't, you can't sell on the side in his turf, right? Is he a big time drug dealer? Yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> as far as you got, you and I are concerned, yeah, big enough. At least he thinks he's big, and you know, uh, he's he's uh, he's got the connections. So. Yeah, I think Courtney is 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 very thoughtful right now because she's currently struggling at only thirteen years old with the <laughs> contradiction of isn't this something that the police should help with? Except <laughs> don't call the police because they'll just mess it up worse. And also Midas is in trouble, but then what are you supposed to do with bad guys? And yeah, she's too young to yeah. understand, like, what, is, what are, what's the alternative there? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. couldn't you set him up with, and I think that's basically what Lena's going to say is like, you drop a tip to the police and say, hey, I'm, there's this drug dealer and he's probably going to have a lot of drugs or a lot of money. And he's going to show up at the, at the junkyard and if you want to catch him, wouldn't that be, I mean, that's what cops are supposed to be for, right? Supposed to help people, supposedly. Uh, it's complicated, kids. He's, um, he's got friends in the sheriff's department. Hmm. His, his, his dad was big shot town before he died had a lot of friends 
And I think he's got them, some of them paid off. And uh, if I call the cops, he's probably going to find out about it. Okay. Reaffirming Courtney's feeling that, like, yeah, yeah, the cops are a bad idea. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, um, I think, like, is, is he going to just make you have, like, keep helping him or is it like a one-time thing or what this <laughs> this is the kind of thing you, once you get involved you can't easily get yourself out mm. uh, paul you're muted or you're not coming through oh I don't know. there there we go oh we gotta stop we got we gotta stop we can't make him stuff for him forever mm-hmm well, sooner or later, Pearson's going to tell me that, 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 you know, I'm going to run out of stuff to junk. And if I don't work on this, Pearson will find out sooner or later. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, he doesn't pick, he doesn't keep real close track. Hmm. I mean, as long as I keep filling up those bins, he doesn't care. Well, what if, um, so you think if if you if you were to just dis go ahead and destroy it, like you you told him, what if you tried to tell him that someone else, like that uh, Pearson came along and, and did it without you? Pearson, have you seen that guy? He never, he doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't. Well, but he, does, he would Blackburn it. know that? Yeah, Blackburn knows Pearson. Hmm. Blackburn, he's got, he knows everybody. He's anybody who's got any kind of money or influence in this town he's he's friendly you don't know you don't know him. back in high school he was mr social he was top of the heap he was the big man on the football team he got dates whenever he wanted them he had girls all over the place he everybody wanted to be in he but he but he was this you know he was just like nice to everybody, but in a real like shitty way, uh, kind of person that 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 knows how to get inside everybody's guts. He's he, you know, and really likes being able to do whatever he likes. Seems and, like a big jerk to me. He is a yeah. Uncle Midas. So the stuff comes from the loop, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? I mean, he doesn't talk to the people. Blackburn doesn't talk to the people in the loop, right? No, no, he doesn't. No. Maybe, maybe we can get them to take the machine or. <laughs> Good luck talking to anybody in there. I don't know anybody in there. But wait. Your dad works in the loop, right? Yeah. If we told if we told him that you had a working machine at the junkyard, but like they've got to know that that machine went to here, right? I mean, like that's why right. we were asking where you got it. It came from them, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if 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 it came down, I mean, I'm supposed to take these machines apart when they get here. Well, yeah. even if the machine got taken apart, that doesn't help because Blackburn is just still going to feel like he, you're in trouble with him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. So <sighs> all right, all right. We want to help, but we don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to step back a moment mm -hmm. as Game Master. Sure and say that a Scooby-Doo style trap mm -hmm. is something you kids would think of. Sure, yeah, I mean, I, was, <laughs> I think that, yeah, like I, where I was going with that is just the idea of like- But, but Midas to, isn't the person, is not gonna suggest it. Well, no. yeah, but yeah, like- I, Maybe we don't actually tell Midas in front of his face that that's what we're going to do. We, we trap- Yeah. Yeah, we trap, well, we trap Blackburn on his own. On our but own a, a trap to do what, though? That's kind of where I kind of ran into trouble. 
was like catch him red-handed at something yeah but d- d- then the police just lets him go like, not, I, not if not if it's not if it's like public i see not if he's okay a bunch okay. of you know, oh, so perhaps i m- misunderstood when you were saying that like he had friends in the sheriff's department i thought that that meant that he would essentially just not get arrested period no he would he would he would only get you have, he would find out have, if someone called the cops on him. Yeah. Okay. He would find out somebody somebody called the cops on him and he would change his plans. Okay. Okay. All right. So then what we need to do is make sure that when the police come that uh that there's no way he can pretend the stuff isn't his. So what we need right. is a way to, uh, so he's going to bring all a bunch of stuff to duplicate tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah. What if, um, uh, you, you tell him that, uh, you, you're going to make the machine work for him, but you can just pretend that there's a little bit of trouble with it, like while you're setting it up or just make it take long to stall. And we'll, uh, Daniel, can you build a, a like something that like, there is like a drop a big net on him or something. Can um, we reprogram the robot to grab him? Yeah. The, the hook. Mm-hmm. We, we can work with the hook. That would work. It's like, all right, well, he's supposed to come at midnight tonight, so you'll have some time in between then, but you got to work quiet because Pearson's in there, Pearson, you know, Pearson's son is in the, uh, in the main office at night, so you got to be careful. Yeah. All right, so what we have is ex- what's called extended trouble. Yeah. Each of you will be able to choose a skill to use and describe how you use it to contribute. Mm-hmm. And uh, on the first round of this, to see whether you succeed, um, you will need to get two successes per kid. So there's three of you going, you need to get six successes total okay. to trap him. And so, but let me narrate the beginning of this and then you tell me what preparations you've made or actions you take mm-hmm. to trap him. Okay. The Black Camaro arrives at Pearson Salvage. And there's a whistle. And Midas goes out. And Midas and Blackburn come back in from the car carrying Lydia. Ah! Oh, 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 no. Okay. So... They're, they're, they are getting ready to put her in the machine. How does your plan play out? Whoa. Holy now, Hannah. <laughs> this guy even more serious. Is she tied up? She What's is, going on there? She is, she is unconscious. Whoa. She looks um, hurt? She does not look hurt. Huh. Um, but your plan at this point goes off. So one of the elements is that the robot arm is going to grab him, but the robot arm is not particularly fast. Um, what? So so. Um, uh, 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 we need to be able uh, to slow him down. Daniel oh. can use Tinker or Program to alter the program of the robot so that it will grab uh, a, a human being dressed in black. <laughs> yep. Um, what other parts what how does lena participate in this plan um, maybe maybe somebody's job is to lure him into a spot where the robot will grab him more easily um yeah and she can uh or somebody needs a lookout to say when well, to activate something or you know there's any of, number yeah Pick pick a skill that you want to use and tell me how you're how it's how it's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. The um the the skill that I was thinking of using actually was Tinker and helping okay. Daniel with that. 
Um, but I could also use um, well, if you want to body do that, and I, I body was... and move to okay. uh, to do something to do something. But like I said, let me let me think. Well, okay. I was just going to say, if your first inclination was to do more technical stuff, which makes sense because you have those skills, I was thinking I could uh, be sort of a uh, distraction lure for for uh, them um, in terms of like pacing and letting, you know, making enough noise. Everybody else knows they're coming um, and just kind of leading leading them in like that. Okay, well, you don't want them to... distracted. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, so what skill were you going to use? Uh, I was going to use charm, but the whole ploy is actually I'm taking a, a page out of Erica's book and I'm pretending that mm -hmm. I'm running away from home and that's why I'm here. <laughs> and okay. I am just, I am... I am aware, especially once I see Lydia there, that like I'm I'm scared about that, but <laughs> I, I'm playing into the idea that they are going to feel like they have to get me out of the area before they can do whatever they were going to do. Right. And so I'm going right. to try to use that to get them to All go right. where I I want to go. But I'm going to have music playing on my boombox in order to. Uh, like be a an audible cue of where we are right okay. like so they can hear right. that we're coming all, right. all um, right so so i i'll give you the two bonus I, bonus dice for using your iconic item all right um and 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 so you can use your charm skill with your mm -hmm. two bonus dice great nice all right so um uh, i've got five for heart three for charm which is eight and then Two more for for boombox. It still works, oh, right? Does. Even though it's been duplicated. Yep, it still works. Hell yeah, that's three sixes. Three yeah. successes. Okay. Six six six. Uh, yeah. Rawr, boom. Okay, so who is programming the robot? Got to be um, me. Okay, so so make a program check there. Okay. Um, my iconic I don't think your not... iconic item is no. going to no, help it does there. not. So I just got to go with, I got seven dice, so. Okay. That is two sixes. Okay, there's one more success needed in order for this to plan to work. Lee, what is Lena doing to assist this plan? Um, uh -oh. How is her part of it? Doesn't have to be before, doesn't have to be after these two elements it can be anywhere in between this is a great thing about the way the system works is yeah. that we figure out what the different combinations are and then narrate the whole scene once we know all the results i'm of two minds uh, okay. but i think probably what she would have done is to use her tinker skill to assist daniel um See, and possibly that's and, just gonna, if you're helping him with the robot, that just gives you one more die. Yeah, but um, the other thing, uh, maybe what she does is um, she could maybe she has a Polaroid camera, and mm, she's okay. taking pictures. Yes, with a flash. Okay. To distract okay. them and baffle them and well and make it obvious that he comes in there with whatever the bag is and that sort of thing so mm -hmm. he can't just say yeah. it wasn't his yeah. okay so you're gathering evidence yeah okay um i'm not sure what kind of role that would be i'm not if, if it might be a sneak it might be um something okay. else are you are you taking these you want to take these pictures surreptitiously so that his progress through all of this is all documented um, uh, uh, in secret, like you've covered up the flash and you're you're uh, you're uh, you're taking them quietly, or um, or do you want to um, be kind of in his face about it? 
and making choices. I know it, it. This 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 is a difficult choice. Um, I think. Well, it, it affects um, what's I think, right? Yeah, I think yeah. Lena would be more in his face about it. Uh, okay. Well, and and just okay. you know, because you know, Courtney's the loud one. She's going to attract somebody else's attention. But Lena's also so he's going to you know have two different kids that he's going to have to try and corral. And which does he go after first? Is he going to uh, go okay. after so the loud one? Oh, so you're like tag, you're, you're tag teaming him. You, you appear in one place. You know, uh, 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 he starts to go in that direction. Then you then you then you like pretending to be one kid, except coming from different directions. So he's constantly running back and forth. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so, um, what skill would you like to roll for that? Uh, um, I'd like, yeah, body move. Okay. Make a move check. All right. So that's and one success will mean your your plan succeeds. One success. All right. So, Blackburn comes in. He's got his arms under Lydia's shoulders. Midas has got her feet. And and Midas is really quiet because he knows you guys have been poking around in the scrapyard all day. And he he's just hoping that you can pull this off. And they put her down and Courtney makes her appearance. And Midas says, oh fuck, she saw us. And Blackburn races off after Courtney. Courtney uh, disappears behind. What? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was just gonna say, like, I I was there with a like, um, I I have applied mascara to look like like crying cheeks, and uh, <laughs> uh -huh. and I've got my music playing sad music, uh, my boombox playing uh -huh. sad music, and I've got the big backpack to sort of pretend like I was running away. Um, right. And I'm definitely yelling, like uh, as he, especially as he chases me. Well, so first of all, like, does he just drop Lydia or what? Yeah, he basically just drops her, and and uh, and uh, and says fuck, and yeah. just runs after you. He's he's he does not care that you are crying. He does not care wow. that you're playing sad music. Yeah, I, he I knows that the, you are you are a witness to what he's about to do, and he's got to deal with you. The combination and, of seeing Lydia and him just coming right after me, I think any pretense of of uh, um, like trick kind of falls yeah. away, and I'm just like, oh god, he's standing me away from me, you big weirdo, and I'm like just running right towards the. Right. <laughs> Right, and you, you you run out in the in the open area where the where the uh, where, where the uh, where the robot is, and um, uh, uh, Lena is just taking pictures all the way along with the with the, uh, the the flip open instant camera that was just brand new at that time. This is yep. one that um, that as part of the as part of the deal, Midas had. Um, had uh, gotten one for you and duplicated it, so you've got you. So you, he didn't have to uh, buy it or anything. He just says, "All right." I, <laughs> he 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 uh, he used his his usual uh, 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 tricks to get you one. Okay. And um, and uh, you, you uh, you're, you're you're taking pictures, and and then right when he's in the right place, you shout, "No!" and uh, Daniel punches a button on the robot and mm, pff, this claw just comes down around him um, uh, 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 with, you know, there's not enough room to get out on any side and he starts shouting threats and things like that and you're taking pictures and Peter Pearson, the night watchman, comes out and says, what's going on here? And, um, and the story comes out. I, I and you point are... at him. He's a big old kidnapping weirdo. <laughs> um, I would run back over to, to Lydia next, just because this is like yeah, what yeah, you, that's trying to make sure. Yeah, she's Lydia's okay. Lydia is 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 um is uh kind of semi conscious. She's in kind of a daze. Uh, she's she's clearly been given some kind of drug. Um, and um and Midas says. Uh, you you guys um, get her home quick. I'll I'll cover for you. 
So Midas, like, what the frig? What? What? I I he think was... you, you made us think it was going to be like drugs or money or something. What is this? I thought it was going to be drugs or money or something too. I didn't think he was going to. He oh. picked her up at a party, and um, told me we were going to duplicate her. I'm sorry. Right. I I didn't know he was going to do that. I didn't. I, I wouldn't have. Yeah. He just showed up with her. Look, get her home. Get her safe. Um, and uh, and uh, I'll tell the. Well, do you want to take credit for this? Um. Because I could tell the cops that I caught him. But. Uh, uh that's. I, I looked to Lena and Daniel and I was like, that's probably best. Yeah, Daniel nods his head slowly. Yeah. You uh, caught him, Uncle Midas. Yeah. Well, especially yeah. because if you don't take credit, there's probably going to ask a lot more questions about how you got involved in the first place. Right. So uh, so if you give me those pictures, I'll uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that they... Because... Uh, that, that, this is beyond anything I thought he was going to do. He's mm -hmm. he's he, he needs to go to, to jail for a long time. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. And Lena oh. will will place the the camera in his hands. Okay. Um, so, I will see if Lydia is stable enough to ride on the like the the back posts of my bike. <laughs> like, can she um, stand on those while I pedal? Um. <laughs> Uh, Probably not. <laughs> uh, you, 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 you get some water into her and uh, kind of on her face and uh, you get her conscious enough to, uh, to get her home. Okay. I, I, um, I think as, as soon as like she seems like she's aware enough to pay attention, I would definitely kind of like, you know, that guy was going to like duplicate you. What the huh? hell, Lydia? He said it was going to make me a model. And Lady, Lena will just get in her face and say, this is two you owe me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> it's like a model, Lydia. Really? Okay, I might have been a little drunk. So. All right. You get home. Drinking stupid. <laughs> All right. Um. This comes to the end of this mystery. All right. We did it. Um, we got the big thing. <laughs> uh, there's still one more phase to do. Uh, let me. Um, at this point, if we were playing a campaign, mm -hmm. um, we would discuss whether you've changed or learned, whether your kids have changed or learned anything. Hmm. Um, and you could change your kids' problems, pride, iconic items, relationships, change what they like, things like that. Um, hmm. uh, but since we're not, I don't think that's necessarily, <laughs> okay. but um, uh, 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 the, uh, the, pro the home problems that we, kind of woven through on this are not something that's designed to be resolved mm -hmm. right. in mm -hmm. the mystery. They're, they're, they're kind of a backdrop mm -hmm. in context. So none of that has any resolution in our story tonight. The story tonight is mm -hmm. catching Blackburn. Sure. Mm -hmm. All um, right. But there we go. Yay. Yay. Tales from the Yay. <sighs> that was fun. Yeah. I'm so I'm so glad Daniel didn't say anything to Blackburn at the apartment. Otherwise, he would have recognized the voice. And that was <laughs> <laughs> Things would have gone off the rails. Things would have gone really bad at that point. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Angel's well, shyness and diversion <laughs> saved him. <laughs> so uh, it's too bad that we we weren't able to keep David through. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So in Tough any problem. case, I believe that uh, next week. Uh, we're going to still not quite be back to root yet because we're going to be down uh, a player for that. But uh, I have uh, in mind uh, another game that we could play, but we will definitely be back to stream something uh, tabletop role playing game related uh, next oh, week. Yay! Uh, so we'll return for more adventure on so many levels.
So many levels. Yay. Yay.